Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. This is uh, Kashif Kamran and I welcome you all to a very important session which is for the Advance Audit and Assurance Computer Based Exams. All you need to know. Now this is an important session for all the AAA students who are appearing for the computer based exams in September 2020 and I intend to cover many diversified aspects of all you need to know for the AAA CBE. So I will be dividing my presentation into two parts just to ensure that you have an effective learning and that each part of the presentation is not stretched beyond a certain time so that you do take interest in watching the full presentation. Now, in terms of the very first thing I need to discuss with you before moving towards my main first part is that there is already a lot of fear among the students uh, taking into account the computer based exams for AAA, particularly in Pakistan, where the students were more accustomed to the manual paper when it comes to the strategic professional level exams, including AAA. We know that in Pakistan, the computer based exams for strategic professional level was to start from March 2021, where it was to be made mandatory. But due to the COVID, and due to the fact that exam centers cannot be held in the physical form in exam centers, the ACCA took the right initiative of not canceling the September exam settings rather than moving on with the September exam settings and giving students the chance to appear in exam using the computer based exam format with a remote invigilation. Now, obviously, uh, when something is done for the first time, there is a panic, there is a fear, but with proper guidance, proper resources, and proper support from your professional body, from your teachers, and from your institutions where you are enrolled with, you will be overcoming this fear within the next couple of days. Uh, I do believe that the fear factor will exist for some days and gradually it will start to mitigate. Uh, I also believe that there are lots of uh, sessions planned by ACCA uh, to help student understand more about computer based exams and more about uh, the remote invigilation, which will mitigate the fear and which will mitigate the concerns of the student community over the next weeks to come. And they will be mentally prepared for giving exams through a computer-based exam environment and with a remote invigilation. So your ACCA as a professional body, your uh, institutions and your teachers are all putting in the efforts to bring you the right set of supports so that you can be guided in a very effective manner. Now, if I just recap some of the important points that there is nothing to be fearful about. Firstly, uh, I will be focusing in intensively today on the supports available on ACCA website for the AAA paper for the computer based exams. And I need to guide you that have you rightly explored these supports because I also have a concern that the students, because they are in a panic state, they are not going looking for the support in the manner they should be looking for. So at least I need to give you a very better guidance on the supports available so that you should start to look at them in an orderly manner. So my first part of the presentation today on all you need to know about the AAA CBs will be focused on the supports available. But yes, in the later part of my presentation, I would be covering about that, how would you be practicing 
in a computer based environment or how would you be practicing at home using the practice platform which has been given to you by ACCA so that you can practice a lot before you give your actual computer based exam. Now the supports are there but you need to use them in a perfect manner and you need to use them in a perfect manner to achieve success. How would you be using the supports available? I will be guiding you shortly on that. Your exams are on the 7th of September for AAA. So you have plenty of time. You ideally have five weeks or plus five weeks here to plan yourself effectively. And we, I believe these five weeks are normally considered as very important for a student preparing for September exams. And this, this is the high time where you, should, you, where you should sit down and start to practice. But in a practice in a computer-based environment through the practice platforms, which are there for you by ACCA. I will be guiding you about using the practice platform in more detailed manner in my part two of the presentation where I will be discussing with you uh, the benefits of using these practice platforms, how you should be using these practice platforms and how these practice platforms would really enable you to be prepared for your computer-based exams coming up on the 7th of September for AAA. Now, I would prefer that, again, I spoke of this in my previous sessions as well, that a lot of students have given applied skill exams uh, in a CBE environment. So they're very used to, they're very accustomed using uh, the Word and Excel, and they are very relaxed. They, they have no intentions of giving uh, the AAA in a CBE environment even. But if any student still have a fear factor, because see, in the AAA paper, you need to use Word a lot, Microsoft Word a lot. So what whatever you are doing now, whatever practice you're doing now, start to type your answers on Word rather than writing them manually on a paper. If even you're submitting any assignments to your tutor, try to submit the assignments to your tutor through writing them on the Microsoft Word and emailing them to the tutor. I have already encouraged my students uh, since the start of the September course that they should submit me the assignments using the Microsoft Word uh, and emailing me. And my students are doing this on a regular basis. So if you are submitting assignments using Microsoft Words, or if you are writing your answers on Microsoft Word, automatically your typing speed will improve and your efficiency of using the commands of the Microsoft Word will improve, which you then need to use in your exam paper as well. So I will be coming across that practice platform, the use of the Word, the use of the Excel, how to make sure that you have a good command on the features of the word required for exam paper, the feature of Excel you required for the exam paper for AAA. But again, that is all what I will be covering in the part two of the presentation. Now, I just want to have a crisp uh, overview of the supports available in my first part so that you can focus on them in a very, very effective manner. So this very first part, is uh, about the resources, the computer-based exam resources for AAA by ACCA. And that's what I will be covering in a, in a precise manner. Now, there are three links coming in front of your screen. I will be showing these links to you exactly what is there on the three links. These are three hyperlinks, which uh, is about the ACCA resources. And on each link, I will be giving you an idea what is exactly uh, available. Now, when you look at the link one, uh, the link one is very important, and I will just be showing you that, that the link one basically focuses on the CBE preparation. You can see that in the link. The link two focuses on the CBE exam technique. So that is on the CBE exam technique. And the link th uh, three is a YouTube video, which is from the ACCA channel on YouTube, which will be guiding you about the AAA computer-based exams. I think this is just under a three minute video, which gives you a crisp overview of how to go about AAA CBE. So I will be showing you that as well. So these are three links, uh, two of the website, accglobal.com, uh, 
relating to the CBE preparation. Then again, the ACCA global.com relating to the CBE exam techniques for P7. And then there is a YouTube link here guiding you about a small crisp video about the AAA CBEs. Let's let's explore each of them in order. If I if I take a look at the first link on your screen, which is about CBE preparation, and you go to this link, the CBE preparation link, you will come across the CBE preparation page on the ACC website, which is all about the CBE preparation for AAA. So when you go down and explore this, you will find a lot of information about computer-based exams relating to AAA on this particular link and they have guided you in a very good manner about what sort of supports are there. Now, the very good thing, the very first good thing you have on this link is the C CBE preparation videos for AAA. They have given you four videos. You can see the first video, number one, before you get to exam room. So they've given you a short video which you can play and you can identify what you should do before you get to the exam room. Then the next video is about the first step when the exam starts. What should be the first step when your exam starts? You can watch this video and take your notes. Then the next video, number, number third, is planning your answer. How would you plan your answer in a computer-based environment? What sort of things you should keep in mind? So watch this video and take your notes. Then you go down with the fourth one. How would you be completing your answers? You watch this video and take notes. So there are four videos which are guiding you about completing, completing your answers, planning your answers, what you should be doing in the exam hall when the exam starts, and what you should be doing before you get to the exam room. So these are good, crisp videos and you should take notes from every video in an effective manner before you start to practice the AAA paper on a practice platform. So this particular link, which is the link one, is giving you some very good preparation videos for AAA, which can really be beneficial for you. Another good thing you can get from this link one is that they, the ACCA, on the same page under the videos have given you other CBE preparation resources. Now, one of the one of the wonderful CBE preparation resource here is that you there is a webinar, get ready for AAA CBE. When you click on this, it will take you to the registration page. Uh, and this is an on-demand webinar. So you will register yourself, and after you register, you can then run this webinar immediately. I think this is approximately uh, one, uh, one hour and 20 minutes, not more than that. So this is a very good webinar, uh, which gives you a greater understanding of using the computer-based environment, the practice platform. And uh, in this webinar, uh, the the person has uh, drilled out the December 18 question paper, and uh, the person has um, guided you about how to do the December 18 exam paper on a computer-based environment. This is a very, very important webinar because this webinar will tell you about the December 18 exam paper of the AAA, the December 18, and the person has done the drilling of the December 18 exam paper in a very effective manner. And I think that's the question number uh, question number three of the December 18 paper, which perhaps have been drilled in this uh, session. And they've drilled them in the computer-based environment. So to guide you how you read, how you plan, how you answer, how you make use of the Word file, or how you make use of the features of copy-paste, and so on and so forth. It's an excellent webinar. So I would prefer you that after you watch those four videos, this should be your top priority, right? This should be your top priority of registering for this webinar. This is an on-demand webinar, so you can watch it immediately after you register. Then obviously, once you watch this webinar, and you, you, you will see in this webinar a person demonstrating 
how to use the practice platform and how to drill the December 18 paper and how you use the word word processor and how you plan the answer, how you read the answer, how you take notes of the answer. You will be amazed and you will have a mental state where you can start your own practice. So this is the next thing, right? Obviously, when you're ready, when you're ready after this webinar, you absorb this webinar and you've already seen the four videos I've shown you on the page. You are ready. You're ready for the CBE exam question practice. You are ready for this. And I will be doing my uh, presentation too on this. I will be guiding you detail about the CBE question practice. I will take you inside this and I will be guiding you how much practice is available and how can you practice. But your step one uh, from my session one today is that you get to this webinar, enroll for this webinar, watch this webinar so that even when you are in, uh, when you are listening to my session two, you are already done with the webinar. So on the very first link, uh, which you can see on your screen. What you need to do as a student is that you need to see the four videos, then enroll yourself for the webinar and listen to the webinar and take your notes. You will be mentally prepared taking on the practice platform, which I will be guiding you in my next session. So this link one, gives you the webinar and this link one gives you the four videos which you will play before getting to the webinar right so this is a very very important link now within this very first link you have the practice platform but we will explore the practice platform as a very unique feature in the second part of the presentation now you go back and you look at the link two, which is available right now when you look at the link two, the link two is about the cbe exam techniques so when you click on the link two, you will come across the cbe exam technique and this is another very designated page on the website about triple a guiding you about the cbe exam techniques and you have to go through this entire page now, one very good thing which is on this page, which I would recommend all of you to go through, is that on this page, you can see that there is a video which is Tutor Review of March 2020 AAA CBEs. We know that in some countries, the computer based exams were started earlier, and in March 2020, in some countries uh, where ACCA uh, do take place, uh, was under the computer-based exams. So the computer-based exam was held in certain countries uh, for AAA. Now, this is a tutor review for that. And the particular tutor, Jenna, from the Price Waterhouse Cooper, Czech Republic, uh, she guides you in a wonderful manner about how you should have how you should be doing your computer based exams so she takes a very good crisp review of march 2020 paper and guide you about using the computer based environment so the webinar in the link one and this uh, tutor review uh, by jenna from the price waterhouse cooper czech republic uh, both these are very very valuable resources you need to make this as your top priority as well after the webinar and you watch this and this will give you such a good illustration of the march 2020 exam paper it will give you such a good way of reading and planning the march 2020 exam paper in a computer-based environment it will give you such a good way of answering the question in a computer-based environment using the microsoft word processor so you already have a webinar which covers the december 18 exam paper in a computer-based environment and then this is the march 2020 which covers the march 2020 exam paper in a context of computer-based exams so you have wonderful resources so you need to follow that right then number next on the same website you can see that the acca has given you a link here download the graphical representation 
what they have done is that they have made a graphical representation of a computer based exam uh, taking into account the AAA March 2020 paper. So they have converted the AAA March 2020 paper into a graphical representation. So you can see that PDF form on the AAA exam paper. I, I'll just be showing you that. So that graphical representation at least makes you familiar with the interface of the paper, uh, which you will see on your computer screen. So if you want to see the interface uh, in like a PDF version before you see the uh, the paper in actual form on the computer screen, they've also made a graphical representation of the March 2020 exam, and that is also very beneficial for the students. I will just be showing you that graphical representation. Now, when you go to the uh, exam papers, right, uh, where the exam papers are available for AAA, uh, you will see this graphical representation available uh, on the link of the exam paper. And even when you click on this, download the graphical representation, automatically the March 2020 exam paper will be downloaded in a graphical representation form which is just exactly you see the interface of a computer-based exam on your computer screen. Now, just before I show you, do a recap. In, on the link one, you have four videos to watch, followed by a webinar, which covers the December 18. After that, the next day, probably, on the next day, you come to the link two, and on the link two, you watch the March 2022 tutor review. Once you watch the March 2020 tutor review, you your confidence level will start to go up. Then you can download this graphical representation of the March 2020 computer-based exam so you are familiar with the interface of the paper, which you will see on the screen. Then on the day three, then you can finally start with your practice platform. But before you start the practice platform, you need to spend time on link one, one day, link two, second day, and on the day three, you come down with the practice platform. And, and I'll be guiding you in a very proper manner on the use of the practice platform in my session to two of the same presentation. So if I just show you one thing uh, in terms of this graphical representation, which is available uh, by ACCA, when you click on this, download the graphical representation in front of your screen, there is a hyperlink here, download the graphical representation. When you download this graphical representation, you will come across this document. See, they've converted the March 2020 exam paper into a graphical representation on a PDF file. This is exactly how you see this on a computer screen when you open the computer-based exam. So they have made it a graphical representation. So. You go from page one, then come on the page two. You can see the instruction screen. That is exactly how you will see that on the computer version. So you can become familiar with that. Then you have the instruction screen continued. Then again, you have the instruction screen continue. Again, you have the instruction screen continue. This is how you will see it on the computer and you will be clicking next, 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 and next till the time the instructions are over. You will have 10 minutes. Uh, before the exam time starts uh, to read these instructions. So 10 minutes before the exam time starts, you can see these instruction screens and you will start to read these instruction screens. You can even read these instruction screen, uh, screens uh, when you're practicing uh, for your September exam. So you're familiar with the instructions. So you're ideally prepared for these instructions. You can see these instructions already on this PDF file. So you can download this PDF file, take a printout and become familiar with instructions. Now, once the instruction finish and you start with your exam time, which is your three hours and 15 minutes, which I will be guiding you more in my session two. This is the exam summary screen. And this exam summary screen tells you what is in section A and what is in section B. And it tells you how much time you have, just like your manual paper. Then you go from the exam summary screen to your section A, just like you have in a manual exam. And in the section A, it's telling you how much is the total worth of the question in section A. Then you go into the section A and you will see the question number one. And this is how the question number one will appear in on the computer screen. I will be guiding you about how you use the question one, 
how you make use of the column on the left and the, the main screen and how you go through the exhibits, the requirements and the response option. But again, my message for the part one is just go and download this graphical representation so that you become familiar with the interface on a paper. Then you will see the same interface on your computer screen on your laptop screen later when you start with the practice platform so this is this is a very wonderful resource a graphical representation and they've made a graphical representation of the actual computer-based exam on a pdf file so at least you become comfortable before you go down and start the practice platform so before you start the practice platform again do the recap you first need to go and watch the link one and in the link one you will get the the very best thing is the four videos and with the four videos you will be getting across the webinar for december 18 exams then after that you get to the link two and on the link two you get the march 2020 tutor review and you also get the graphical representation of the paper in the pdf form so I would, I would suggest that you keep one day for link one and absorb it. You keep, you keep one day for link two and absorb it. Don't be in a rush, absorb things and make yourself mentally ready for the start of the practice platform. Then when you carefully watch this graphical representation which i was showing you and you keep exploring the graphical representation so you get an idea about the type of screens which will come in front of you in a computer-based exam and i will be demonstrating them in my next session in a very effective manner by taking a, a taking on the computer-based exam platform and guiding you about how you should be using it and what are the do's and don'ts so uh, i'll be doing an illustrative session on the use of uh, the practice platform which will give you an idea about how you should be starting the practice platform and what should you be doing and not be doing so i think that would really be beneficial for you before you start with the practice platform on the link three you have a youtube video right you can see this link three on my uh, presentation which is uh, a youtube link and when you click on this you will reach uh, this video which is right in front of your screen, Advanced Audit Insurance. This is just a three minutes and 20 second video, which gives you a crisp overview of the AAA CBEs. And watching this three minute, 20 seconds video will again open your mindset. So I think you have plenty of resources to go through over the next three days, absorb them. You have one graphical representation of the March 2022 download as a PDF file and go through it. So if, if you spend three days uh, from now, today is the 23rd of July, so 24th, 25th, 26th, three days, by 26th of July, you will have some mental readiness for exam. Then from the 27th of July, you can start with the practice platform and you will be guided about how to use the practice platform in the best manner for AAA. I'll, I'll be, I will be doing a session on the practice platform before 27th but ideally you have time till 27th to start your practice platform but you should spend three days making yourself mentally ready with all the link one the link two and the link three so that you know all about the computer-based exams in a very effective manner so my part one was just about the cbe resources and guiding you about these links I will be coming with a more lengthier part two, which will be more about using of the practice platform, the use of the practice platform. And I will be guiding you about using the Word and Excel. Uh, where can you use Excel in the AAA paper? Is there a use of Excel in AAA paper? Is it necessary? Uh, all such questions. Word is obviously essential because uh, we know AAA is a theoretical paper, so everything needs to get down into the Word. But what about Excel? So I'll be coming across that and frequently ask questions about practice platforms. And I will be showing you a live demonstration of the practice platform, which will make your mindset perfectly clear for uh, preparing yourself for the computer-based exams, right? So this was it from the very first session of uh, all you need to know about the CBEs for AAA. I will be coming up with the second session. So stay tuned for that. 
have a nice day all of you allah hafiz goodbye take care